There are days that we adults thank our lucky stars that social media wasn't a thing when we were growing up. But today's kids are swimming in social media and are swamped with misinformation. Jacqueline Toner is a retired clinical psychologist and the author of True or False, The Science of Perception, Misinformation and Disinformation. She's here to cast a lifeline to parents and kids. Welcome, Dr. Toner. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Desiree. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Yeah, so first off, I wanted to ask you about your book. What is the purpose of your new book, True or False? I thought it would be interesting to explore with kids the ways in which our very magnificent brains sometimes fail us. So we often can misperceive things or um, uh, misinformation can be accepted by our brains because our brains are very efficient. So it's not a, it's not a problem with our brains, it's actually um, a, a, um, a fluke that happens that sometimes we believe things that aren't true. And that gets magnified when social media is involved, partly because the internet speeds up the information coming at us, we're less able to critically evaluate the messages that we're getting, and we're more likely to accept information that's not true. And it was my thought that if kids understood how that happened, they'd be better equipped to think critically about the information coming at them and question those messages. Dr. Toner, why is this book uniquely helpful for kids? Um, I think, again, it's because it, it is not just telling them stay away from social media. It's saying messages are gonna come to you that are incorrect, you're gonna misinterpret things. Um, you're gonna have people trying to give you false information. And this is what the science can tell us about how you might get fooled so that you can pull back the curtain and see how this happens and maybe avoid being fooled. And why would you say it's so tempting for kids to believe myths? It's tempting for all of us mm -hmm. to believe things that aren't true. Um, again, it, our brains are extremely glitchy. They make lots of mistakes. Sometimes we see things that aren't really there. Um, and often we believe people who um, we have a lot of faith in for one reason, um, but they may not be experts in the, the topic that they're talking about and we get fooled. Or an interesting story might grab us and we might run with it. Um, and one of the things that's really interesting about the human brain is that in order to understand something, you have to believe it. So to disbelieve something takes extra work. If you process information for a moment, you're accepting it and you have to take an extra step to say, whoa, that doesn't make sense or I don't think that's right. Yeah. Or this person might be trying to fool me. So we all get fooled. It's not just kids. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I mean, earlier you mentioned social media. We're getting so much content at a much higher pace volume. So being able to being able to decipher what's real, what's a myth, it gets harder. What is one of the most important things to remember when people are scrolling online, Dr. Toner? Well, a lot of people, and I'd say maybe more so kids, think that when you look for information on the internet, if you put a, a, something in to search for something, that the information you get first is the most reliable and the most relevant. And that's not at all true. What we get is based on prior uh, searches that we've done. So, and that's how we get sort of uh, uh, stuck in little loops of information and don't get corrective information. So that's one issue that happens the other is that often the way we ask a question can lead us to different kinds of information so one of the examples that i tell kids to try in the book um, is to search for whether a cat is a better pet than a dog and then search for whether dogs are the best pets and you'll get different information depending on how you've structured your questions that's a great example because me, I would answer that very biasly having a dog myself, but I like how you're challenging kids to kind of search for the different resources to see the answers they get so they can better decipher if it's fact or a myth. Dr. Toner, thank you so much for joining us today. And to our viewers, you can get your copy of Dr. Toner's book, True or False, Where Books Are Sold.